Hello everyone, this week I'll be traveling to San Francisco for work since our client site is in San Francisco in the Bay Area and I haven't been back in California for almost half a year I would like to say so I thought it would be a fun experience to vlog what I do this week including work and personal things and I'm also meeting some friends and going to some really cool restaurants so I want to document this week. I specifically requested a window seat when I booked my flight because I just really like to look out the window when I travel. I don't know what about it, but being in planes gives me so much comfort. It's like a confined space where you're kind of cut off from the rest of the world, no signal, no Wi-Fi, no emails. You only have this tiny window as a portal to look out into the real world. And I just really, really like watching clouds pass by. I was hoping to see a sunset on the way to California since we land pretty late and I kind of fell asleep for the later half of the flight but as we were landing in San Francisco, the sunset was happening in the background behind the mountains and it was just so beautiful. Once we landed, we picked up our luggage and Ubered to our hotel. This time we were staying at the Palace Hotel in San Francisco since it was really, really close to our office. a.m. and I just woke up. I slept pretty late last night at around midnight so I'm getting up now and it's like around 11 a.m. for New York time which is um, around usually when I wake up because this project um, is like pretty so it's pretty late so but it feels good to wake up at like an earlier time at 8 a.m. I'm gonna get up, get ready, and maybe go grab some food. Right now, I'm just getting ready for work. I don't really know what to wear, to be honest, because um, I feel like the people here in San Francisco are more chill about dress code. But at the same time, you know, we're going into the office, so you want to seem unprofessional. I asked the consultant on my team what the dress code is and what he's wearing. He said it's business formal, but he's wearing jeans and a t-shirt. So I think I'm just gonna wear jeans and a sweater today, also because it's kind of cold. Um, and I only have glasses that are like really thin. So I think I'm gonna just wear this. Hopefully it should be acceptable. And the work doesn't really start until afternoon. So we might just get a smoothie and then chill along um, the piers for a bit before heading into the office. It's really early right now, as in like time on the West Coast, but it actually, I actually feel pretty awake because we flew in from New York and it's like three hours ahead. And I usually sleep pretty late and wake up pretty late. So this actually feels perfect. It feels like I'm um, starting my day pretty early and like being productive today. Yeah, I feel like when I travel, I always, always forget to bring something. And this time it's my eyebrow pencil. I don't think my brows look very full and I really depend on my eyebrow pencil usually. So this is not great. I think I'm gonna stop by Sephora later to pick one up. Um, I'm hoping I brought everything else so I don't seem like super dead when I go meet my consultant. I think something I've been thinking about recently is also um, setting like personal and professional boundaries 
because my team's pretty small um usually i interact with like two other people on my team the other person they also live in new york so we are like pretty close and for some reason we also follow each other on instagram so basically we kind of know what each other is doing like like every day i'm i'm not really sure how close people are with their teams but i know definitely in consulting people like hang out after work and like grab drinks or like share like what's up with their lives but sometimes i'm just not sure because like sometimes during work hours i'm either like grabbing coffee or like i'm um, meeting a friend for a quick lunch and if i post about it i'm not sure how he will think about it but at the same time i really think he's like a really nice person and he really supports my like you know hobbies outside of work and other things like that and he tries to plan work around it and like really supports me to do things so I've just been thinking about it because I feel like in my friends in like banking or um, sales and trading, you have set hours where you interact with your coworkers, and then after that, it's basically like personal life. You don't need to update each other what you're doing. But because consulting hours are so, um, it's not like super regular. Sometimes you have really late hours. Sometimes you have really early hours. And obviously, you want to like get to know your team. Sometimes you end up sharing what you do in your personal life, or sometimes you even like hang out past work hours. So I've been trying to navigate that a little bit. And like today, I think we're gonna go grab a smoothie, a smoothie together. But I'm eating lunch with my own friend from college. So hopefully that sets um, a little bit of personal time for me during this trip. I ended up getting an acai smoothie from Drama Juice before heading to the office. And the view of the office was honestly pretty amazing. I feel like if I had this view, I would be down to come to the office and work every day. For lunch, I walked to the ferry building. It was around a five minute walk from the office and it was near the pier. I walked by this bakery. I've actually had their pastries and coffee before the last time I came to San Francisco, so it felt really familiar. And this location in the ferry building was new. They offered French crepes and other types of pastries, and they had a view of the water and piers, so I thought it would be chill to just sit outdoors and have some food. In the afternoon, we had a couple meetings and did some work from the office and then also took a walk in the Salesforce Park. I heard it was kind of like an attraction say. I wasn't really sure, but my team wanted to leave the office for a bit and take a walk, so we went. I just finished work and got back to the hotel. I am so extremely sleepy right now. I feel like I, all I want is just a nap, but um, I told my friend I would meet him for dinner. So I just quickly changed out of my work clothes and I definitely did not pack the right clothes for <clears throat> SF weather. I forgot how cold it can get at night. It was a little chilly outside, but all my like long pants and like warm clothes is like very work vibes and i don't know if that's people people wear the bars here but i'm gonna quickly touch off my makeup because i literally look like i'm about to fall asleep and then head out and meet my friend i think the place he picked is pretty close to where i live so it's gonna be like a five minute walk, hopefully. Um, he made a reservation for 7.30 and I think it's 7.33 right now. 
So I'm just gonna hurry up and sorry gotta focus for eyeliner, but yeah. I'm just gonna make myself hurry up and go meet him. I haven't seen him in maybe half a year. Yeah, and always a very exciting part to meet old friends while traveling for work. Cause when else would I be on a six hour flight here? Just kidding, I love my friends. I'm gonna hurry up and get ready so I can not be too late. This is gonna be the outfit for the day. I definitely did not plan this out. I don't know what I'm wearing. Definitely not right for the weather, but this is all I have. Everything else is like too cold for the night. This is also extremely awkward. I only have Air Force Ones and sandals, and apparently it's like really cold at night, but I don't think people want to see Air Force Ones at a club. I mean bar. So I think I'm just going to wear sandals and freeze myself, but it's only a five minute walk, so that'll be fine. I brought my friend two things, I guess, since I'm, I haven't seen him in so long and I'm going to stay over for a couple nights, so I thought I'd bring him a little something. This was when we went to New Jersey. Super cute candle. It says travel light, live light. Spread the light, be the light. I like this coat so much. It's like a little candle. And this is just some random um, snack from when I went to Puerto Rico. My friend, for some reason, does not like chocolate and all they sell is chocolate there. So this is like a tiny thing I found that hopefully he likes. Those are like name places of gay shit that I have to say that they're gay It's almost like flat on it. You guys are all the friends? I'm like, dude, when Chinese people meet a white guy, it's making sure. About a year. Yeah, about a year. Yeah, about a year. Well, I got like an old, like, 60s Broadway song. Charlie Charlie Papa. I am so extremely late today. I have a meeting in 10 minutes and the walk to the office I think is seven minutes, so. Time to hurry up. In between meetings, my coworker and I decided to go downstairs to Phil's coffee to get some caffeine in our system to wake up. For lunch, we just went for a quick salad at a place nearby and brought it back to the lobby of the office to eat. I am so extremely tired, so we came back to the hotel for a bit just to nap and reset ourselves before our evening meetings. Our next meeting is at 5, and right now it's, let's see, it should be, it's 3.30, so I may take a quick nap or go outside to the water to walk around and refresh my brain, but I've had three coffees today, and it does not, it does not seem to be working. I ended up taking a walk along the water and just enjoy the sunshine and nice weather of San Francisco. I also stumbled upon this cute matcha store. I've seen it a couple times in other cities like Boston and New York, but never tried it. So decided I was gonna give it a try and it was so good. For dinner, I was feeling something more on the Asian Japanese side because I heard San Francisco has really good Japanese food. I looked up this place called Gozu. They have a Wagyu omakase set where they serve, I think, 12 courses of Wagyu made in different styles. 
and I thought it was so interesting and it honestly looked really pretty so I wanted to go try it out. It's a Kampachi sashimi. The fish is from Toyosu Market in Japan. Uh, there are tuna belly with wagyu bacon shingle in between the slices. Underneath we have potato puree um, and surrounding it we have some black garlic, garlic flour, sea beans and New Zealand spinach. We to spoon over a tazaza broth which is a wagyu broth with brown rice vinegar and smoked shoyu and to accompany the rare sear of wagyu that we cut from the tricep muscle in the shoulder uh, and we dress it with charcoal and dress it with a truffle vinaigrette. Above that in the teacup we have a wagyu broth for you to sip on as you move through the tray. We have two types of pickles to help balance out the richness as you go. Uh, this is fermented daikon, and then we have a cucumber sudamono. The rice is tossed with a cone feed wagyu neck and topped with wagyu furikake. And then the skewer that we're featuring today in the center is from the chuck roll, which is located above the ribeye. So it's got a similar flavor profile, but it is a more work muscle, so it has a little bit more texture. Um, next to that, we have some grilled chanterelle mushrooms with a sweet onion soubise underneath and wild watercress pick over the top. Um, I recommend starting with the beef, the skewer in the center, take a bite, and then we have two salts that you can use to season to your liking. This is a grilled piccata, which is a hybrid of a peach, apricot, and a plum. It's compressed in honey and tallow from the wagyu. In the middle is a meringue that's infused with Japanese sunshine peppers, as well as a pluot sorbet on top. And the sauce is the juice of that piccata and some of the honey and tallow. Every single course looked like a piece of sculpture, and it was so good. After dinner, I went to meet my friend at a jazz bar. After I came back, I picked up some bubble tea that my friend ordered for me and went to bed early to prepare for an early day tomorrow. These were my first three days in San Francisco. I felt like I was already doing a lot and meeting a lot of my old friends. And I was also really excited for the next couple of days because I knew work was gonna be a bit lighter. So I had more time to do things in the city and just embrace the nice weather here.